Hi folks, this is Max from uh, RootGalaxyNote.com. So for those of you who want overclocking, um, you probably, if you know a little bit about Android, uh, you probably know that you can actually overclock if you un install a custom kernel that supports overclocking. Now with the Note 10.1, that can get a little bit hairy because um, I don't see that many custom kernels out for it. And uh, also, you know, um, some of them are very beta and I don't re really recommend them. Uh, there is an app you can use. Uh, it's called Tegra Overclock. You can get it on the Play Store. Uh, there's a free version and a paid version. I actually have the uh, paid version. They're pretty much the same. The paid version allows you to set it on boot so it will keep overclocking when you reboot your device. But you can go ahead and try downloading the free version uh, first and make sure this is something um, you like. Now, this overclocking method only works on TouchWiz based ROMs. If you have like a AOSP ROM like CM10.1 or AOKP, it's not going to work. Also available for the uh, GTN 7000. Now, with the G GTN 7000, Tegra overclock is very useful because uh, right now, as of this video, there's actually no overclockable kernel for the Android 4.1.2 uh, TouchWiz based ROMs. Um, so, which kind of sucks, and I know it is a little bit laggy. Um, that's why you should install Tegra Overclock Ultimate. Uh, I've got it overclocked to 1.6 gigahertz, and also I can set it on boot. Uh, makes things a little bit faster, but that little bit difference get rid gets rid of a lot of the lag uh, you're facing on the Galaxy Note GTN 7000. So let me show you how to use it. Very easy to use. Um, there we go. Go ahead and run it and simply hit the uh, load overclock module. All right, and make sure you hit allow if the super user pops up. Once it has been loaded, go ahead and go to CPU max frequency, say yes, and uh, you can try starting at about 1.6. The stock uh, Note 10 point runs at about 1.4, so start at 1.6. I was able to get up all the way up to 1.7. Um, 1.65 was the most stable without it, you know, doing much. But it does make it a lot faster. And also, once you have found the right frequency, then set it on boot. Uh, a great way to do this is uh, set your maximum frequency um, to about 1. Point, uh, start about 1.8. If it reboots your uh, Note 10.1, uh, 10 try 1.752. Try running Quadrant, and uh, if the Quadrant freezes then try going down until you can finish a quadrant test uh, because it's a good test um, to run everything uh, while your Note 10.1 is on load. Um, with quadrant I went from about 6000 to about almost 6500 so not huge amount of overclocking uh, but it does certainly improve the performance of my uh, Note 10.1. If you need that little umph um, definitely go with the Tegra overclock and I do recommend the uh, the pay version since you can set it on boot and also you can mess with additional stuff uh, with the GPU you can even lock your GPU to 533 MHz um, for performance there I don't really recommend playing with the voltages too much unless you know a lot about CPU and stuff uh, but definitely check it out if you want overclocking on your Note 10.1 or the GTN 7000, it's not a it doesn't work on the i7-17. Definitely check out the Tegrec overclock. Highly recommend it. Uh, gives you overclocking if you're on Android 4.1.2 uh, without installing custom kernel. How this works is that uh, there's actually um, kernel modules. If you know anything about Linux systems, um, you can actually install different things as modules. So uh, Tegrec basically installs the overclocking. Uh, as a module so you don't need to install a separate kernel which is the beauty of it if you like being stock uh, or perhaps you know um, you have just rooted you gave your phone root your tablet root but you don't want to install custom recovery stuff like that but you still want overclocking you can use this app to get overclocking and plus uh, there's no overclockable kernel on Android 4.1.2 for the GTN 7000 so this is the only way to get overclocking right now uh, but uh, it does work very well it's the same thing um, just it sucks that I you know um, there's no overclockable kernel but you can definitely get this highly recommended if you use uh, your phone and uh, you think it's a little bit laggy definitely try out this one 
Um, you can actually install it with any custom kernel that's running TouchWiz. It doesn't have to be stock. I'm actually running Live Note 3 ROM, which will be ROM of the week soon. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, as always, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button down there. And uh, don't forget to run Quadrant and also if you want Antutu and other benchmarks and post your best benchmarks uh, with your highest um, overclocked frequency. I was able to only get this one up to 1.75 and 1.7 gigahertz, pretty darn stable, but um, you can get higher and uh, post your numbers, it'll be kind of interesting. Anyway, thanks guys, um, see you see all later, uh, have a great day and uh, have a great week and stay high on Android.